hey guys the year has just begun for us techies you know from you know unpacked event where we saw the launch of uh samsung new foldable lineup from the z4 6 to the z flip 6 and all these amazing devices and i know it's just about to get real here at tech it as we work towards giving you the best in reviews the best in tech content and today we are talking about something that well launched pretty some time back but uh you know it's something that if you are out there you do vlogging you do uh recording uh and any kind of audio uh work this will be something that you will definitely be looking out for and this is the dji mic 2 here's it in all its glory now here at uh, the studio you know being Tech is being guys that uh, do tech content and vlogging content once in a while. Uh, we've had the opportunity to, you know, uh, observe and get to see all the different kinds of options that we have for audios. And, uh, you know, uh, when, when the DJI mic launched the very first time, it was a very welcome space, especially for us guys who use DJI equipment you know from their gimbals to their drones and you know we've, we've used quite of that a lot about that so when we saw them launch the mic for us it was okay uh looks like uh, they have something that they want to do in their audio department and it will work together with their ecosystem and that was when we bought ourselves the first ever microphones this were the dji series one they were very nice they looked very compact uh, we liked the 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 carrying case the charging case you know it was a nice mic to use and we definitely use these mics for our production from their small um uh, transmitters to their receiver and you know to their dongles if you wanted to use an iphone or uh, an android device these were microphones that we loved and you know they're able to do 16 and 24 bit recording and you know we used them for a while we loved them that's when the tall guy in our studio with the kilemba decided that we wanted to use the road wireless pro mic now this was a very also welcome addition one because they were able to give us 32-bit uh, uh float recording of audio and uh, they came in I, I i believe what was a better charging case is what we are using for audio right now and you know we love this well ken loved it but i had fallen in love with the first iteration of the dji mic so we would use this uh simultaneously for all the recording so when dji launched the mic 2 this was a very 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 a uh, welcome addition and let me tell you all eyes were on this mic so we've had an opportunity to get them thanks to the guys over at cameras africa uh, for, uh and you know they are your one-stop legit shop for doing all that so let's unbox this quickly uh, it says here all in one ready to use it has high quality audio recording 18 hour battery these are things that we are willing to test out 24 250 meter range uh can record for 14 hours internally uh with 32 bit intelligent noise cancelling uh and all that so let's get to see what you have you have some paperwork documentation in here and uh you know i think i see some stickers well it's only a moment to enjoy it has a silica gel kama kawaida so this is the new carrying case i like this i really like this and i think they borrowed a leaf off from um the D the road wireless mics because this is only what it came with oh yeah they had a nice carrying case i can't remember where that went uh this is the carrying case the studio guys so this is the carrying case that the first dji mics came with it was a nice pouch it was not bad but i believe with this what you get this is a better uh, version it looks like a very nice uh, soft pouch uh, and then inside it has three compartments in the main compartment we get the dji mic two uh, it has your windshields two of them because it's a dual mic uh, and then it has your cablings it has your usb type c to usb type a and then your 3.5 mm to 3.5 mm jack because of those who are using uh it record from a camera so the the the, the pouch 
the carrying case really looks very, very nice. So these are the mics themselves in all their glory. Now, again, you still get the receiver, which is an updated receiver. It's smaller, it looks much more elegant, it looks much more premium uh, than the previous one. I'm gonna put them side to side for you guys just to get to see. It still retains touch controls. This one was a bit, uh, this, this was, a, was a fat boy. This is a more slimmer profile, but it's a wider profile. Uh, that's what you get those of them side to side. Even the charging pins at the back look a bit different. Uh, I like the fact that the, on this one, they include a dial, which at least you can be able to crank up whatever you need to do. So those are them. Then I previously, or rather not previously, I loved these mics for this one reason. This is the shadow black version, but the whole idea where they uh, implemented this transparent design, so you get to see the internals. So they also look mo more visibly appealing. They have nice aesthetics. Uh, not to say that there was anything wrong for me with the first version, but I believe these ones look a bit much more better. Uh, same form factor, although this one is slightly shorter a bit much more uh, chunky but shorter and, uh, and and less wider but it's a bit fat uh, i don't know whether you guys can see that i know you'll be able to uh, see it i mean it looks very very nice it still retains you know uh, the power button the type c charging button the link button and the recording button and uh, you know this is what you're also able to use if you want to upgrade the firmware on this so this is the new uh, dji mic well at least the previous version can stand on its own okay that's how they look uh for me they look a bit better than the previous version the chunky the case is slightly uh bigger longer sorry but uh, less fat less more chunky uh, but i like the fact that they come with a with a with a pouch which helps you preserve all that now Ideally, this is an impressions video. This is just what we get to see uh, from, you know, once you unbox the device, um, the charging case also has this nice lever that you can open and shut. Now, remember, this is a charging case, so it also stores up battery that juices up the, the things themselves. It, it, it gets to juice up the uh, transmitter and the receiver. So when you put them back, in the case they get to charge uh the same with this also gets to do that uh, they still retain for you those because ideally you can use this directly on your smartphone for those guys when you're gonna find a vlogging i know there are these nice entry level microphones like the boya b1 and you know the the saramonics the Holy Land luck, and probably we'll get an opportunity to put all those mics head to head. The Boya, the Saramonic, the Holy Land luck, the DJI, and the Road. But for here, because we have the DJI Mic 1 and the DJI Mic 2 and the Road, I'm gonna do a, an audio comparison. Then you guys get to tell me what you think. So, let me put this into record. This is the audio from the DJI Mic 1. Check one, two, tell me what you prefer. This is how the audio sounds on the Mic 1. This is, this is the audio from the DJI Mic 2. It's recording internally just as uh, the DJI Mic 1 did. So I believe you're getting 32-bit internal recording with intelligent noise cancellation. So tell me how the audio sounds on this mic too. We also have the DJI, uh, sorry, the wire, Rode Wireless Pro together with, uh, with us here. Let me just record. This is the audio from the Rode Wireless Pro 
It also does 32-bit internal recording. So tell me whether you guys can get me loud and clear on this. So those are the three microphones we have here at the studio. Please tell me what is your what is your um, feed? Which do you think sounds better? The DJI Mic 1, the DJI Mic 2, or the Rode? Um, let's get an unbiased opinion from you guys that are watching. And again, as I said, you can use these mics with your smartphone. Uh, they also still do come with a, mag with a magnet. So you can either clip this on. Man, this mic looks good. Don't you think so? It looks good. That's Ken. Okay, he's always biased towards the road. What do you think, Steve? Unakaji? Transparency. Transparency and asama iko iko kwenyewe. Why do I need to see the internals? Now my work is to record audio. Aesthetics, bro. Aesthetics, bro. Anyway, they still come with a magnet, so you can clip this on. If you want to use the mic directly, if you're in a windy place, you can do the windshield. But I believe with the intelligent noise cancellation, you can do a better job. You can also decide to clip this because it comes with the magnet. This magnet is, well, looks much more better than the older version, but you can clip it onto the microphone just like that. Get to shoot whatever content you're doing. Once you're done, you can uh, unplug the magnet just make sure you don't lose it. And the magnet really has a strong grip. Mask here has a very strong grip. As compared to the DJI Mic 1. All right. This guy's lost the magnet for the very first one. Okay. Pretty strong magnet. I think the paintwork on the on the magnet itself um, will disappear over time, especially if you're gonna use it. Uh, so let's see how the DJI Mic 2 will, will fare, especially with the magnet. So we'll go into testing and and um, and experience all that you get on the DJI Mic 2. Tell us what you'd love for us to. Uh, record and test out with this mic. It comes in at around what was it around 50, 50,000? 50, yes, around 50,000. So it's still cheaper than the wireless pro. And I believe now what that does is it makes the cost of the DJI mic one go a bit lower so you can get this for a bit cheaper. So please let me know what you think. Let us know what to test out, but I mean, it's a wrap for us, for from us guys from the studio for this. We'll get to test out this microphone. This is the dongle uh, for the, if you're using an Android phone, you just clip it onto here, slide this out, slide this in, and then you just clip this directly onto your smartphone so that it gets to use the audio from this. It records directly into this. This is the receiver. It transmits directly into your smartphone. So it has, uh, if you're using an Android phone, it also has one if you're using um, an, an iPhone, well, iPhone 14. <laughs> or older, but uh, if you're updated, just like some of the guys in this studio, well, I mean, USB type C, everything. So, yep. Atuna Mingya Kusema still has, okay, the receiver has what? It has your out. If you're, if you're, if you're recording into a camera like the uh, DJ, uh, sorry, like the Canon R5 Mark I, because we can't wait for the R5 Mark II to land in Kenya. And if you're using headphones just to listen to whatever is happening. So, I mean, even your, your mic, that's the run through through the mic. Man, getting this thing out is an uphill task. But um, yeah, so tell us what you think. Tell us what you'd like to know about this microphone. And we will surely get the review to you. Again, as we said, if you're a... This might not be a mic for everyone, but if you're out there, you want to start a vlog, you want to do um, uh, whatever you want to do, 
and I think just off the box, this gives you 11.2 hours of direct recording uh, into the, you know, the battery life will give you 11 hours. So, you know, that's, that's nice to get to know and see. But yeah, has your LED indicator on the charging case just to know how much power the charging case has. Tukwa hatuna mengi ya kusema other ila ya kwamba tuta test microphone hizi tuweze kuambia jinsi ambavyo they fare in a day-to-day -day life. But it's a wrap from us guys from TechEd. Peace out.